This is a brief overview of the embryological rotation of the midgut. Arterial blood to the gut tube is supplied by the abdominal aorta. The gut tube is composed of the foregut with blood supply from the celiac artery, the midgut with blood supply from the superior mesenteric artery, and the hindgut with blood supply from the inferior mesenteric artery. During the fifth week of development, the midgut starts to loop ventrally, herniating into the umbilical cord. This growth process creates much of the resulting length of the intestines. The cranial limb of this midgut extension will ultimately form the distal duodenum, jejunum, and part of the ilium. The caudal limb of this midgut extension will ultimately form the distal ilium, cecum, appendix, ascending colon, and two-thirds of the transverse colon. As the midgut lengthens, it also rotates 90 degrees counterclockwise around the axis of the combined superior mesenteric artery and umbilical cord. The cranial limb of the midgut, now on the right side of the umbilical cord, becomes highly convoluted throughout the next few weeks. The caudal limb of the midgut, now on the left side of the umbilical cord, grows a small cecal bud, ultimately becoming the cecum and appendix of the colon. During the tenth week of development, the midgut retracts back into the abdominal cavity and rotates an additional 180 degrees counterclockwise for a total 270 degree rotation of the intestines. The duodenum, jejunum, and ilium are now inside the borders of the entire colon, which is composed of an ascending part, a transverse part, a descending part, and a sigmoid part.